Hello and welcome to MyChap, the smart, simple and fast way to manage your account. In this short 10 minute video, we'll show you how to search for transactions that have been raised to or from your CHEP account. This is commonly called a docket inquiry. We'll look at some of the important details as well as how to quickly and easily find contact information for your trading partners should you wish to discuss any of these details with them. To begin, if you have access to more than one CHEP account under your MyCHEP profile, ensure that you're viewing the account that the transaction is related to. If you manage lots of accounts, or you're not sure which account the transaction belongs to, you'll need to use the Transaction Activity Report function, where you can search for records under all of your accounts at once. In this video, we'll focus on reviewing transactions for a single account. When you've selected the correct location, go to Menu, Manage Transactions, and Review Modify. If you've been to this screen before, you can take the shortcut back on your home page, under Recently Used, and just click on the Review Modify tile. Once in Review Modify, you can use the different criteria to search for individual docket numbers, multiple docket numbers, or to run a report. Search by, date type, and from and to dates, which can give you up to 13 months worth of transfer history. In this example, we're going to search by a specific docket number. If you have the docket handy, just key in the number or you can copy and paste it from an external source, such as an email or Excel spreadsheet. And click Search. From this table, we can now see more details about the transfer. The docket number. It's a transfer in to our account. And the status is clean, meaning that it was successfully transferred off our trading partner's account and onto our account. And version T1 means it's the original docket and it hasn't been corrected or reversed or modified in any way. To get more details, we can toggle to full screen or stay in the standard screen and scroll across to obtain more details. We can even see the invoice number that this transfer has appeared on. The other way to get more information is to click on the chevron which will open up a panel on the right hand side. At the top we have three options to reverse the transfer, to modify it or to print it if we want to save or print a PDF copy. If we disagree with the transfer onto our account we have the ability to reverse it. If we agree with the transfer, but some detail is incorrect, we have the option to modify. But please keep in mind, you'll only have these options for the first 60 days after the transfer appears on your invoice. After that, you'll need to seek written authority from your trading partner. For more information around reversals and corrections, please visit the Help and Support section in MyCHEP. It's really important to check all of the information on the docket. In the top line, we have the docket number. We have our account details, our trading partner account details, and the user ID of the person who raised the transfer. Sometimes you might have a question about the transaction itself and need to contact your trading partner. So MyCheck makes it really easy to find out who to contact. Just simply click on this link. The other information that you should always check is the reference, the delivery date, the effective date, the equipment type, 
and the equipment quantity to make sure that all of the information matches what has physically occurred, in other words, what was sent and what was received. If you or your trading partner have uploaded a POD or need to upload a POD, otherwise known as a proof of delivery, you can do so here just by clicking on this link. To upload your own POD, just simply click on Add More and then search for the file on your computer. If a POD already exists, the file name will appear here. To view or download, just click on the arrow. To save you time and effort, MyCheck also has the capability to search for multiple transactions, whether it's in an Excel spreadsheet or a list of docket numbers on an email. MyCheck allows you to search for up to 200 individual transactions at once. In this example, we'll simply copy the docket numbers from a spreadsheet and paste them into the Enter Search Criteria section. Just copy the information the same way you would in any Excel spreadsheet. And just as we did for the individual transaction, we need to change the search by to docket number and then simply paste the information into the enter search criteria and again select search. We can now see all of the transactions in the list as well as those that have been reversed or modified and the corresponding transactions that come along with it such as corrections and reversals. Let's have a look at one of the transactions where a correction has already been processed. The T1 is this docket here ending in 666666. The corresponding reversal and correction are the T2 and T3. We can tell that these transactions all belong together because the T1 is referred to in the original docket number against all three records. To see what's been corrected, we can scroll across the columns and see what's changed from T1 to T3. The quantity in the original transfer was for one pallet. That has been corrected to two pallets. If we'd like to see more information about the T3 or the correction docket, we can simply click on the chevron on the T3. Here, just like before, we see an option to reverse if we want to reject or reverse the transaction in its entirety, modify if there's something about the transaction that we disagree with, or to print. In this instance, the T3 or correction transaction is less than 60 days old from the date that it was invoiced. If it was greater than 60 days, the option to reverse or modify won't appear. Let's see what happens if we want to request a reversal of this transaction because we disagree with it in its entirety. We select a reason and submit. Because the original transfer has already been corrected, authority is required from our trading partner to now accept the reversal. The T3 has gone from a clean status to now pending, now that we've submitted that request. This transaction will now sit in a queue, awaiting authorization by our trading partner. For more information on corrections requiring authorization, please refer to the help and support section in MyCHEP.